so now let's assume uh, we have actually imported all the bank statements from uh, from our computer manually or maybe we have connected all our all our bank accounts into zero and zero has fetched all the transactions from bank account uh, so now what do we need to do uh, like is zero going to post each and every transaction automatically or zero will wait for our authentication so now the answer is there are some rules making allowed by zero if you if you provide all the rules to zero that see if the description says this the amount says this the, the party is this the date is this just post it in the journal it will post it if you provide them the rules but if you're not providing the rules you will have to go to your bank account and see what zero has brought in from your from your uh, bank accounts directly or by importing the bank statement manually uh, and then once you look at each transaction individually you decide whether to post it or not and whether the zero has found a match for a particular transaction automatically or not or if there is a vendor already available or a customer already available in the zero against which you can actually post the transaction directly or do you need to create an additional kind of uh, vendor or customer to post a particular transaction so let's look at it practically so that we understand it more better so for that purpose what i'll do i'll go to accounting bank accounts and over here if i want to reconcile this bank business bank account over here with this option <clears throat> there is a reconcile account point available over here i'll go to reconcile account and when I click the reconcile account, it will provide me with with a face and an interface of transactions where left hand side will be filled with transactions taken from the bank statement by zero. And the right hand side will be available with with transactions if any is matching uh, with transactions already available or accounted for in zero. For example, if you see initial two transactions does not have any kind of match as everything is blank but if i move further over here if i see on 23rd of november there is a transaction which was posted in zero for 6187.50 with invoice number this client number this reference is this and when i uploaded or uploaded the bank statement or imported the bank statement uh there was the same reference same party same transaction available in the bank statement as well so zero gave me a green signal that see everything is matching over here this is an amount received this is also was the amount received you initially posted a transaction so do you want this to be to be uh, said as received because obviously if you issued an invoice it was receivable initially now you have received the payment so if i just okay this the transaction will vanish and it would have been posted into the relevant account directly right so now for example over here now it's a payment 1181.25 maybe there was a payment that you that you obviously uh, kind of uh, uh, posted into into your journal but uh, uh, as you might have issued a, a check so the the supplier will go into the bank account will get it cashed or maybe transferred into his bank account so bank will take a bit of a time but fortunately if you see it's 26th november's transaction and it has been cleared on the 6th of november so i can just okay this to just reconcile my bank account with my ledger accounts because my ledger was showing a payment my bank account was showing a payment so it's a match and there will be a no reconciling item for me to find a resolve for right so now if you see a lot of transactions are here which are new maybe which are not assigned by zero to any particular transaction and for that reason i'll have to reconcile each and every transaction right so now if you see it was initially into it was coming through a match with a green color so we just matched it with the okay option over here so the transactions got matched and it got reconciled and we had 
to do nothing with a bank statement or or a journal because everything was matched right over here if there is no transaction available in the zero or a zero could not find transaction within zero so you'll have to create a new transaction you'll say to whom this payment was made i'll say it was made to a zoho if i want to create it as a new contact i can just click this that this is a new contact and in future i will be making payment to zoho so i need this vendor to be added into my account so it appears automatically what it is for for example it is for assuming consulting i'll add this if i want to add a description i'll add software payment right so now region if i want to select weight expense if i want to change any of the details if i want to add i can do do so with the following complete performer but i think if this is fine this is right i don't want to change anything else i'll just save the transaction with this right and the total when the total is matching i'll just need to click reconcile and it will get reconciled if i go cancel so now over here if you see 96 is there so who is there now it says okay the option is available if i click this okay either i say okay over here or i go through this a details and click reconcile save transaction and then reconcile so the transaction will vanish you see the 96 transaction has vanished it was 31 items unreconciled now the reconciling items are reduced to 30 reduced by one because one transaction is now matched right so now for example uh, i don't want to create a new transaction and i believe that the transaction is already available in the system but the zoho was not able to capture it or fetch it for me so what i'll do i'll go to match over here it will give me some advanced features for example search by name or reference search by amount and go right if i will assume that if i assume there was a transaction already available in the system but this zoho uh, for uh, sorry this uh our accounting software zero was unable to to fetch that particular payment uh, for me, which I have already posted in system, then I'll try to search it right now. This search could be manual like this. Or it could be through a search of name or reference, right? So now. Now, if you see over here, the sum of your selected transactions must match the money spent. Make adjustments as needed. For example, if you select this transaction to be knocked off against that amount of uh, 144.64, if I say this Javadro was temporarily parked for uh, EE payment, uh, but the actual payment is uh, the expense is 144.64 while it was recorded as. 115.95 so what i want to do is i'll go back i'll go down i'll see here there's a difference of 28.69 it will ask me to make an adjustment bank fee either it is a bank fee or a minor adjustment so i'll say it is a minor adjustment of 28.69 once the total match it will give you an option to reconcile once i recon reconcile it will ask me the selected sales invoices, bills or expenses claims are dated after the statement line. Please check you have selected the correct entries before continuing to continue. Click confirm. If I click confirm, it will again go away from here. Now, instead of 30, 29 reconciling items are available to us, right? Sometimes it happens that we might need to transfer the amount from one account to another. Right now, I have only one business bank account, so it is giving me only one option. I can just transfer it with the reference number. I'll say okay, and the transaction will be posted into into the bank bank's ledger account, right? Over here, 
if there is a kind of a discussion i'll just add a kind of discussion point over here for my maybe reporting line ahead of me or maybe below to me so that i can before i move forward to to reconcile a particular amount i need to clarify a few things and i'll just make a note over here right otherwise you can just simply find and match again the same same side you can match with the listed transactions below once you match the amount you can just go over below and if the amount is not matching you can prepare some adjustments or you can make new new transactions of receiving money or transfer money for example you're receiving money you will add the details reference number amount tax rate everything once added will just save the transaction right so it is within a one window that you can select and reconcile your uh, each and every transaction over there now in this manner for example as we discussed it was 31 then it went down to 30 and then 30 uh, 29 so now what what we'll do we'll just knock off each and every transaction against each and every now if you see over here there is a Ridgeway Banking Corporation fee which has been created automatically it says okay if I say okay it's match again rule applied 7-eleven it's a 7-eleven transaction contact name created already so I'll just okay this why is it coming like this this is coming like this because the party name is 7-eleven I have created a rule therefore it is it is saying that the apply the rule they have applied the rule of 7-eleven contact name is 7-eleven if I see view details it was a direct payment to 7-eleven miscellaneous corner store safe transaction <clears throat> and I would say reconcile, so to reconcile, I have four options, either I click OK or I go inside details and say it's it's a kind of a, a, a reconciled amount and it will reconcile for me. So one item at a time we reconcile and this reconciliation number will go below to zero once we have reconciled everything. I hope this helps. So now we, we have covered. Uh, that how do we connect our bank accounts how do we import our bank statements and how do we create or prepare the reconciliation so that we do not have any kind of reconciling item available to us i hope it helps